and welcome to another episode of the Herb Factory. Today we will show you how to make your own calcium fertilizer at home. Have you ever wondered why your plants start dropping flowers for no particular reason? It's because they lack calcium. Plants need lot of nutrients for their growth, just like us humans. And calcium is one of the most important nutrient because it helps the plant form cell membranes and form fruits or reproduce. But how do you figure out if your plant is suffering from a calcium deficiency? Well, you just check the new growth, which means you check the new tips of young leaves and shoots. First off, they will look stunted. This is because the cell walls don't form properly. In tomatoes especially, you will see that the bottom looks like it is rotting. This is nothing but blossom and rot or calcium deficiency. So basically, all plants need calcium. Soil without calcium will be infertile. Calcium also improves the texture of the soil. Now you can add limestone to the soil just when you're planting the seeds or saplings and that will provide calcium to the soil. But it's a bit slow. If you don't have limestone, you can also add eggshells. It's one of the best ways to add a good dose of calcium to your soil. But they decompose slowly and the plants will not absorb the calcium immediately. You should also remember that calcium deficiency cannot be reversed. This means that if some tomatoes have blossom and rot, adding calcium will not treat them. But the rest of the tomatoes that are yet unaffected will be healthy. So you can prevent blossom and rot by adding calcium. You only need something the plants can use instantly. So is it possible to make your own calcium fertilizer at home? Definitely yes. You can make something the plants can use immediately. And the best part, you only need two ingredients. Let's get started and we will show you how to make your own calcium fertilizer right away. First, collect about 20 to 30 eggshells. Make sure they are clean and then crush them into smaller pieces. Next, roast the shells on medium heat until they turn brown. Use a mixer grinder or coffee grinder to grind the shells into fine powder. Next, use a 1 is to 3 ratio. This means that if you have 1 cup of powder, you will have to use 3 cups of vinegar. I have used 1 cup of shell powder, so I will use 3 cups of vinegar you will see that the mixture starts bubbling now. A fun science experiment to do with kids because the bubbles are really fascinating. You can mix the mixture frequently and you will see that the bubbles go down a bit. Wait until the bubbles go away completely. This will take anywhere around 1 to 3 hours. Mix everything 
and let the solution rest for a bit. Now you can store the solution. But make sure that you don't close the lid for about 2 to 3 hours. The solution might flow out of the container but that's okay. Once the solution stops flowing out, you can close the lid. Let the solution rest for about 10 to 12 days before using it. Use 1 teaspoon for 1 litre of water and water the plants or spray it on the leaves. And that's it, you have your own calcium fertilizer. You can use this on any plant once or twice a month. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please use the comment box and we'll answer them. Thank you for all the support and happy gardening!